Borrow Nerds, I am Cheyenne, and welcome to the LARP House. Specifically, welcome to the LARP House's first installment of... This is where you will see things that I do in my real life that are not LARP, at least not in the traditional sense, but are still very interesting to me as a LARPer. Renaissance and cultural festivals, conventions, magical nerdy places to visit, theme parks, haunted houses, all of that kind of stuff will be documented here. Assuming, of course, you actually like this series. If you don't, I will never do it again. This first installment will feature the Orlando Highland Games. That is Orlando, as in Florida, as in where I did most of my grown up years. My family is largely Irish and some form or another of Norse, and my mom was actually in a Celtic rock band for most of my formative years, so I spent a lot of time at these kinds of festivals. The 2018 Orlando Highland Games happened to be a sort of reunion for that band, so I came to Florida and I went to see my mom play. Also, I got to touch a unicorn with this hand, with my physical flesh vessel, so enjoy! <laughs> So the songs of it called the Son of the Celtic, Son of the Celtic, Son of the Celtic Son. Thank <laughs> you. 
showcase the little side adventures that I go on and I want to take you guys with me. And also creating videos has always been such a huge part of my art. It's how I remember things that are important to me, especially having memory issues like I do with such severe ADHD. <laughs> Long term memory is pretty good, but like, you know, little details, things like that, they just they disappear. So. I always am documenting things. I'm always taking little snippets of footage and this is a really great way for me to showcase those little those little tidbits for you guys. It's also a little more personal. And on that note, I'm going to include a little poll to help me decide which installment to put out next. Just take a second, decide which one sounds the most interesting to you. That will help me. They'll all come out eventually, but it's cool to know what you guys are actually interested in seeing. I don't know which side it's gonna be. If you want to vote on stuff like this more often, if you want to see behind the scenes stuff about the games I'm going to in the future and my general plans for a LARP house, consider possibly pledging a small amount on Patreon. It's incredibly helpful, especially moving to a new country. You guys have saved my sparkly behind and allowed me to keep doing this. Thank you. And with that, we're done for this episode. Thank you so much, my nerds. You are loved and cherished. And if you have any questions, comments, or emotional outbursts, if you want to support us in any way, links for all that will be in the description, including social media, all that stuff. Follow us other places. It's a good time. Also, also, please, please ring the bell, the little bell here, if you want to actually be notified when we upload, because algorithms are, um, complicated. So please, ring the bell. And as always, thank you so much for liking us, subscribing to us, and fighting with us. Oh my gosh, I do have a good side. <gasps> Wonky Nose, Princess Nose, David Tennant, Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> One thing that I think sums up growing up in Florida pretty well is that we had this sort of Chuck E. Cheese adjacent facility. It was sort of like an arcade jungle gym type thing. It was pretty cool actually. It was this building surrounded by a moat. And in that moat were a bunch of live gators that you could feed. Like anywhere between 10 and 20 live gators. And I didn't realize until I moved away and mentioned this in passing that's not normal. <laughs>